Hello, and welcome to what I studied in my software engineering master's degree. In my two year software engineering master's degree, we had eight classes besides doing research for our thesis. I'll say the title of each class and a description of what we studied. The purpose of this video is to share what classes I took for my degree so that you can learn about the main keywords and the subject titles if you want to self-study or if you are researching different majors. This video is inspired by Mayuko and Jarvis's My CS Degree in Minutes. Starting from semester 1, we had Software Requirement Engineering, where we learned about requirement gathering when working on a software project. This was a part of a series of subjects that were each explaining parts of the software development lifecycle. Next, Software Project Management. This subject was very useful. It taught me about time management, managing a team, and the processes one can take when giving the product to a client. We studied agile software development in detail. The end project was a document for managing a software project of our choice that we worked on. We actually created an app with team tasks all defined and the documentation of how that app works. Next subject was advanced object-oriented programming using Java. This was a normal, here are some Java concepts and let's apply them sort of subject. We created a web app for our end project. I'd never used Java for web, so that was something fun. In the second semester, we studied software architecture and design. This was an extension to the software requirement engineering subject. Um, this is the next step of the software development lifecycle. We designed models. We used an app called Star UML for a project of our choice. We learned about different types of diagrams. The next subject is cybersecurity. This was a bit of a low level subject. We reviewed code with bugs that could lead to your device being exploited. I don't really remember that much, but all I remember are the hat colors. Here's a joke explanation. There are different types of hackers. One is called black hat, white hat, and gray hat. I also made a report on Spectre. You can Google Meltdown and Spectre. It made me lose faith in all devices. So much fun. Next subject big data processing. This one was an extension of my bachelor's database subjects, but on another level. The module followed this book, Big Data Fundamentals, Concepts, Drivers, and Techniques. We learned about big data collection, processing, analyzing, and visualization methods. We did our project on analyzing data from Stack Overflow. Did you know you can go and play with their public database? Also, they share their yearly developer survey. And now we are at the third semester, which was the second year. The first subject was software testing and evaluation. This was another subject in the software development lifecycle, even though the lifecycle can be extended to other subjects, but all the subjects we studied were very well put. I found the subject to be extensive and not easy, but the class project helped us put it all in one place. We had to design test cases for the project we made in the project management course. I remember how the lecturer was always saying testing is in every part of development. I also remember learning about black box and white box testing. Black box testing is not knowing how the software is developed and planning tests for it, but white box testing is knowing the design of the software. The final subject was cloud computing. We covered a wide range. We learned what is the cloud. The answer, literally any storage, local or online. We learned about platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, software as a service. Um, we also learned about virtualization methods in the cloud and hypervisors, such a hard worker. Some security in cloud and also offloading. This class was interesting and I learned a lot, but it hurt my grades. I'll never forget that. And that's it. I personally took an intro to Python class, which was not a part of the curriculum, but I was using Python in my research and I thought it'd be useful. And it was. There were no exams or anything. I got a lot out of my master's because I actually wanted to learn. I paid every dime out of my pocket. I kept up with the readings and the homeworks, and I'm happy that I did. And I still have a long way to go in my software engineering career.
To iterate, I don't think a master's degree is necessary for being a software developer. I personally have plans of going into academia later in my career. I also do well in a structured learning environment. You may like to pace your own learning. There are so many ways to be a software developer in this day and age. Best of luck on your journey. I may make a video on what I studied in my bachelor's degree if anyone is interested. Also, if you have any questions regarding studying CS or software engineering or anything else, let me know. I could answer it in the comments or maybe make a video about it if the topic needs more than just a reply. Thanks for watching my video.